What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchupessentials.com back with another SketchUp and V-Ray tutorial for you. So today I wanted to start going through the different settings for materials contained in V-Ray. So today's video is brought to you by my supporters on Patreon. Patreon, as most of you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. So if you like what I'm doing on this channel, maybe you're interested in supporting the show, make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. So I want to start off by saying that the topic of materials in V-Ray is a huge topic. There's a lot of different things to cover. I wanted to start off with kind of an overview of some of the different settings and where to find everything. And then in future tutorials, we're definitely going to get into some more advanced stuff, but I'm trying to really give that step-by-step -step, um, in-depth kind of uh, information so that everyone can learn how to use the different materials within V-Ray. And so to start off, I'm using V-Ray 3.6 for this tutorial. And so um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to find our materials editor. And so our materials editor can be found inside the asset editor. So if you go to your V-Ray for SketchUp toolbar, when you click this little button off to the side that says asset editor, that's going to pop this up. And so when this pops up, you're going to have a window that basically gives you a preview of your materials and a list of all your materials as well. And this may look different depending on which one of these tabs have been selected. And uh, like for example, we've already talked about lighting in a different video. So this is where you'd edit your lighting, um, your V-Ray objects, and your settings. And so in this case, we're going to focus specifically on the material editor section. To start off, when you open this up, what this is going to have is this is going to have a list of all the different colors currently in your SketchUp model. So like for example, if you were to go into the materials section of your tray and click this little drop down, and if you were to scroll up to the very top where it says in model, you'll notice that the list of materials over here is the same as the list of materials within V-Ray. So this is basically showing you all of the materials that are contained in your model. And generally speaking, these materials are all contained over here in my default model. And so you can see as I click through them, a couple things are happening. So the first thing that's happening is whenever I click on these in the V-Ray material editor, they're also getting selected over in the materials section of SketchUp. So whatever material is currently selected in SketchUp is also the material that's being previewed here. So if I was to use the eyedropper tool, for example, and I was to go in here and I was to select one of these colors and select that within SketchUp, you'll notice that that gets selected within V-Ray as well. So in this case, this color C07 is the color that I've applied to Bonnie. And up here, you get a preview of what that material is going to look like. And right now, you'll notice that that's not a very interesting material, um, just because we haven't changed any of the settings. And so I want to finish giving you a quick overview of where everything is, and then we're going to get into adjusting some settings. So if you click off to the left, you're going to get a list of V-Ray materials. So these are materials that come built in with V-Ray that you can apply within your model. And we're going to talk about these more in a future video. But just note for right now that that's where those are. And then, if you were to come over here and click on the right arrow, you're going to get a whole bunch of different settings. So this is where all of your material settings are found. So um, you can adjust basically everything about your materials within this uh, section over here. And so in addition to having your material settings off to the right of your screen here, there's also a number of quick settings that you can use to apply different kinds of materials within your model. So if you click this drop down, for example, there's a whole bunch of different presets. And these are kind of what I want to talk about for this video, just to give you kind of an idea of what some of these settings do. I don't want to get in super in depth in every single setting over here because it's just really overwhelming. I could probably do a video on every single setting in here. And honestly, if there's enough interest, I'm definitely interested in doing something like that. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you'd think about something like that. But in this case, what I I want to do is I want to talk about applying different presets and different settings to your materials over here within SketchUp. And so the other thing I want to note is you can also adjust the kind of preview that you have of your material. So right now as a default you get this kind of spherical shape that has your material applied to it and it gives you a preview of what that's going to look like. Well depending on what kind of 
material or object you're applying this to, you may want to see a different kind of preview. So like for example, if I click on the fabric option, this is going to give me a preview of what this would look like as a fabric. If I select the floor option, this would give me a preview of what this would look like as a floor. So this is basically previewing the lighting and the way that this material is going to look within V-Ray. So you can also look at this as a wall or as a real close up to a wall. So if you're doing like a kitchen render or something like that, you might want a really close up view of a material. So in this case, we'll go ahead and leave this on the generic, but depending on what you're doing with these, that can be very helpful. And so I'm gonna drag this off. I'm actually gonna adjust my view within SketchUp. And basically what I have is these four different spheres. And what I wanna do is I wanna apply some different colors to these spheres. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into SketchUp and I'm just gonna pick some general colors. So I'm gonna apply a red material to this first one. I'll apply a yellow material to the second one, a green material to the third, and a blue material to the last one. And you'll notice when I bring those in, and you'll notice when I bring those in, those get added to my materials list within V-Ray. And they also get added to my in model section within SketchUp. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply a couple different presets to these. And so to start off, let's apply a preset to the first object. And so in order to do that, we're gonna select the material using the eyedropper tool within SketchUp. So I'm gonna click on the eyedropper, and then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna click on this first material. So it's this red material. Well, what we wanna do is we want to, first of all, let's run a quick render. And so you'll notice when you run a quick render of this, there's nothing really remarkable about these because we haven't changed any of the settings. So they're very flat. They're just being lit by the SketchUp environment. And we're not gonna talk about adjusting the lighting settings in this case, but adjusting lighting settings is also gonna be very important for our actual materials um, and making them look really realistic. And so I'll link to a couple lighting tutorials that I've done down below. But in this case, what we wanna do is let's go ahead and apply a quick setting to this red color. And so in order to do that, we're gonna select our color, go over to our quick settings, and we're gonna click this drop down. And what I want to do is I want to select the first drop down for paint. And so you're going to notice that as soon as you select this first drop down for paint, the way that this material looks is going to be different. So you'll notice that now this is reflecting light a little bit. So it's basically applying a series of different settings to this material to make it look more realistic. And you can adjust those settings down here to make this look a certain way. And so let's say, for example, that we were to come in and adjust the glossiness of this paint. You can click and drag this slider to adjust the glossiness. And you'll notice that when you do that, your material preview starts up starts updating to show what your new presets are gonna do. So if I was to adjust that down, you'll notice you get a very flat view. If I was to adjust the glossiness up, you get more of a reflection. So let's start off and let's turn the glossiness really low. And we're gonna click on this. And you'll notice this looks a little bit different than it did before. Um, just from a material standpoint, it looks a lot like the material in your material preview, but it's still not a very compelling image. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust the glossiness of that material up to something like a nine. And so in addition, I'm also gonna adjust my view just a little bit. I'm gonna zoom in so you can really see what it does. And I'm gonna rerun my render. And so you'll notice that now this first object is reflecting light and also reflecting the different objects in here. And that's because we adjusted the glossiness of the material. And when we adjusted the glossiness of the material, that told V-Ray to reflect more light off of that material. And so there's a bunch of different settings in here. And like I said, I'm not gonna get super in depth on all of them right now, but you'll notice that like for example, the diffuse color is basically the color of the object. And you can see how by adjusting this slider, you can adjust how bright or dark that material is. And in addition, you can also set the color of the reflection within this object. So like for example, let's say I was to come in here and select more of a green color. If I click the apply, keep an eye on the reflection right here. And you can see how now the light 
reflecting off of this object gets more of a green color applied to it. And so in this case, we're gonna set that back to white, but you can see how when you adjust these different settings, that adjusts the way that these are gonna affect the light within your model, and so, or within your rendering. And so now let's go ahead and let's apply a different material to this second object, and we can take a look and see what the differences are. So in this case, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna select this yellow material, and I'm gonna click my drop down, and I'm gonna select the option for metal. And so you can see how the metal material looks different within my SketchUp model than the plastic or the paint material did. And so there's some notable differences, but let's start off and let's run another render. And notice that this changed colors. That's okay, and we'll talk about that in just a second. But now if we run this render, and we zoom in on these different spheres, you can see how they're treating light a little bit differently. So in this case, this object retains more of that red color because the diffuse color was set higher, while this other one is not really retaining any of that base material is all and it's all reflection and so you can see how one of them gives more of a metal view while the other one gives more of a painted plasticky view and so you can adjust some different things in here like the way that this reflect refracts light so with the index of refraction you can adjust that we'll talk about bump map in a future video that's more useful for when you have materials with textures applied to them but you can see how like for example if i was to drag this diffuse color up that this is gonna adjust and you're gonna get more of that base yellow kind of shining through, where if you turn it all the way down, this is basically just reflecting material and applying that yellow tint to it. So if you were to drag this way down, for example, you can see how this is gonna get a lot darker. And so for our third object, let's apply a plastic material. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna select my green object. I'm gonna click my drop down, and I'm gonna select plastic. And you'll notice if you were to click back and forth between your green material and your red material, because I adjusted the glossiness up on my red material, these are actually gonna have very similar settings. So you can see how in this case, they both have a high glossiness. The only real difference between the paint material and the glossy plastic material is that this one has a max depth setting. And the max depth setting basically has to do with the number of times that this is refracted. I don't wanna to get too in depth on that right now. Just note that generally speaking, these are sharing a lot of the same settings. And so when I rerun my rendering, you're gonna get a similar effect on this plastic material that you are with the paint material. So you can see how they're both reflecting. And in this case, you'll note that as I adjust this diffuse color up and down, that color overrides more and more any of the other things that are reflected. So if I turn this all the way up, for example, you don't get any kind of reflection of the background other than this light. And so just play around with these settings and see what you can create. So that's going to be a big part of learning how to use V-Ray is adjusting the settings and kind of messing around with them to see what they do to create the, basically the effect that you want to create. And so for the last object, let's apply a glass material. So I'm just going to use the eyedropper and click on this. And you can see how this blue material is in here. We'll just click this drop down and we'll apply a glass. And so you'll note that the glass has a different series of settings than the other settings. And that's because the glass allows colors to actually move through it, um, as opposed to these, which kind of stop the color, like they're not translucent or transparent. You can't see through them. And so if we were to run this render right here, you can see a little bit that you can see through this. Probably what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and adjust this so that I'm looking down the row and then run it again. And so you'll notice in this case, when I run that, you can actually see this next sphere showing through this because it allows light to transfer all the way through. And so you'll notice that this is kind of refracting the light. So you're not seeing directly through because that's not how glass works. The way that glass works is it actually refracts light. 
so it kind of changes the way that the light rays move through the object. And so you can adjust some different things about this as well. You can adjust you can adjust the color of the glass and what what um, effect that applies to your light. You can also come in here and you can adjust things like your glossiness for both your reflection and your refraction. So, and it's very subtle, but you can see if you move the refraction glossiness slider up and down, um, that's kind of affecting how much the light that's coming through gets a glossiness applied to it, while the reflection glossiness is more affecting how strongly lights are reflecting off of the surface. So if I was to drag that down, for example, then you can see how I'm getting less reflection off of this face. And so generally speaking, when you're working with materials within V-Ray, um, and when you're first starting out, just creating something simple like this and just playing around with your settings is gonna be a great way to get started. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. I really wanna keep these V-Ray tutorials kind of step by step and uh, not cover too much material in any one video, because that's one thing I don't like about a lot of the tutorials that are out there right now. In the next video, I wanna talk about using textures and materials that actually have images applied to them. So things like brick or wood floor um, and kind of what the settings do there in order to create more realistic materials. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Do you like the way that I'm covering this? Is there a different way that you'd like to see it? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.